What type of punishment should guard mm -hmm. receive, if any? I already he, said he that, should. Uh, he game should receive. Expensive. Yeah. Yeah, he should receive a, uh, a suspension. Look, he instigated that, Molly. Like, yeah. he he was petty. He was being petty at his finest. But here's the thing. This is what I want everybody to realize. It is so hard to control your emotions when you are in the heat of the battle, when you are in between those lines, and even when you finish the game in a hostile environment in the conference in in, in, a, in a conference game. And people don't realize that, a lot of people don't realize that who never experienced being in the heat of the battle. Like, that's why I'm not a big fan of the uh shaking the the line to shake hands because guys are not guys are still hyped up guys are still fired up from a hostile game or it could have mm -hmm. been a close game that's why I'm not mm -hmm. a fan of that at all like mm -hmm. just go your separate ways when I was playing mm -hmm. in the NBA the teams I was on we never shook hands that's why I don't understand that to this well, day like we never shook hands it, it should be your mm -hmm. personal decision. Or you should be granted if you want to mm -hmm. do it, but it shouldn't mm -hmm. be an obligation to okay. do it, now, to, to line up and shake hands. We'll get into all of that a little bit later on in the show, Kendrick Perkins, but I will say this to you. You are completely 1,000% wrong about the coach. The player, yeah. The coach is different. I don't give a damn what kind of heated competition you're in. When you're in that position, there's a responsibility that comes with that position. What you said makes 1,000% sense about players who are on the court, breaking a sweat, banging bodies, doing what they do. But when you are the person that's in a leadership position like that, there is no, there's no way around it. That's I, why you're the coach. I'm not arguing you can't, with you. You can't absolve him from that. I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing with you, Stephen A. All I'm saying is, is that I've seen way worse, and I'm not saying that he shouldn't get suspended. I'm just saying let's not act like we haven't seen somebody yeah. choke, push a player, throw a chair. Like we've seen way worse. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying he shouldn't get punished. I'm just saying we've seen way worse no, from other coaches. No, no, I was just sure. addressing yeah, the point. Yeah, yeah. I was just addressing you. I was just addressing your point about how you were talking about because it's the heat of action, the heat of the moment. And I'm saying that can't be applicable to the head coach. To the players, yes. But no matter how heated it gets, mm -hmm. when you're the coach, there's a different standard. There's a yes. different standard. If it can't be a different standard for coach, we're all screwed. Yes, we're all of course. screwed. I think, I think both of you are right. And Perk saying there's a double standard with coaches from the past. And Stephen A saying unacceptable because you are a leader of young men. We're also talking about a college coach, mm -hmm. not an NBA coach. Well, you Molly, have... you got to remember last, in the past that so many changes have taken place in our society. There are things that would never be tolerated now that was tolerated. And that's one of the things we've been talking about on first take for years. The standards have changed society, from a societal yeah. perspective. So the stuff that Coach Bobby Knight or anybody else got away with in the past, they wouldn't last two minutes today. Things have changed. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.